Buying and assembling guns as a novice in Escape from Tarkov can be extremely daunting. What's that? Does this thing fit in that thing? Who do I pay for these services? It's a lot like losing your virginity. Don't worry though, I'm here to help. Not with the virginity thing though, that's on you. I'm talking about the gun stuff. What's up my dudes, it's all fun at James Zero and today I'm gonna show you the best gun build that you can make and use on the very first day of the wipe. It's very simple and fairly cheap and makes for a great little runaround gun whilst you're getting those early tasks done. If you do get to the end of this video and come away feeling like you learned something, please consider liking and subscribing as it's a massive help to me and the channel. So let's get to the reason why you're here. What gun is best for the early wipe? Well, it's not just one gun, it's actually multiple guns based on the same platform. And of course, I'm referring to the AK. Now some of you over the pond in America may turn your nose up because you prefer your homegrown AR-15 based guns. But we're not in Kansas anymore, we're in Russia now, bud. Really though, the AK platforms are ideal for the new player. The decent ammo is easy to come by and will go straight through 90% of the armor you will come up against in the first few weeks. And the guns themselves are very simple to modify. So let's go through an example gun build now. Oh fucking finally, Jesus. This build is very simple and applies to pretty much all of the AKs. If you're unsure if a part will fit on your gun, just double click on it and hover over this part of the context menu and it will show you which guns in your stack it can be attached to. All of the parts for this basic gun build can be bought from level 1 traders, so it is perfect for the beginner player. We're going to Skia first, a somewhat corrupt shipyard worker by day and an arms dealer by night. Most of what we're looking for can be bought here. First, the gun itself. The Vepa KM slash VPO-136. It's a bit of a mouthful, but you can tell which one it is because it's shaped like an AK and we can buy it with cash. You don't have to use this specific gun as this build will work on all AK platforms and you can easily find better guns in the early wipe on scavs or bartered from level 1 traders such as the AK-74 or the AKM variants. However, for the purpose of this video I'm just going to show you a build that's entirely bought from the traders to keep it simple. So, now we've got the gun, let's buy the modifications. First, we're going to purchase a fancy new Academia of Dust Cover, which will allow us to put an optic on it, and that optic will be the Wolfer MRS, also bought from Skia. Alternatively, if you have Jaeger unlocked, you can buy the Cobra sight from him and the Cobra Eyeshade from Prapor. This sight will actually give you a small ergonomics boost compared to most other sights, which give you an ergonomics penalty. For that reason, and since they updated the reticle, this site is arguably the best in slot for close quarters combat. After that, we're going for the Zenit RK6 foregrip, which is this stubby little one up here. Before we leave Skia, we can buy a Zenit RP1 charging handle, which would provide us with an extra point of ergonomics. But it's not going to make or break the gun, so it's up to you. Although, if you don't buy it, everyone's going to think you're a cheap fuck when they kill you. We're then going to add the NC Star laser pointer. These are useful for CQC situations because it makes your gun much more accurate when point firing. I did a video on this a while back that covers it in more depth, and the link to that is in the top right for those of you that are interested. After that, we're going to head over to Prapor to buy the last few bits. Here we're going to pick up the AK100 series polymer handguard, which will allow us to attach our foregrip and laser. And lastly, we're going to buy the magazines and ammunition from him. Make sure you buy the correct magazines that hold 762 by 39 ammunition. We're then going to purchase the 762 PS ammo. This ammo has 32 penetration, so we'll go straight through class 3 and below armor, and we'll also penetrate class 4 after a few hits. Now let's put it all together. If you have a level 1 workbench, it's very straightforward. You just right click the gun and select the modding option. It will take you to this screen and from there it is quite self explanatory. If you don't have the level 1 crafting bench, you will have to do it manually. I will show you how to do this now. First, get the base gun and all the mods you are going to use all together in your stash for convenience. Then, double click on the gun. You will have to remove the parts you are replacing, so in this case we are replacing the handguard and the dust cover, which will also require us to remove the rear sights. Next, we add the foregrip and the laser to the handguard. In most handguards, you will require an extra mounting piece, but luckily with this handguard, you can just put the additional parts directly onto it. 
After that, we put the sights on the dust cover and the ammo in the mags, and then finally we put on the RP1 charging handle, and we're good to go. So there you have it, a very simple gun build that works on pretty much all AK platforms. As I said before, decent ammo such as 7.62 PS and 5.45 BT are very easy to come by, which is part of the reason these platforms are such a solid choice for the early wipe. Hopefully this video was of use to you, and if so, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching.